A lot of people have heard of pesto or have tried to make pesto, but often it can be quite oily and it does contain dairy. So I'm gonna make a Zoe version of pesto using avocados. Now it's a very simple recipe. Everything goes into your food processor. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with my garlic, great for your blood. I've got some macadamia. So the macadamias are a really lovely ingredient because they make it nice and creamy. They're full of the good monounsaturated fats, but also they're a really good replacement for cheese. Now, of course, you have to have basil. I have used coriander before, but obviously this is more of a traditional Italian type pesto. So I've got my cleaned basil leaves, again into the food processor, and the hero of today, my avocado. So the reason why I'm using avocado is because it has a lovely oily consistency. Um, the texture works really well, but also it emulsifies. So simply what that means, it blends together really well and holds the form and that lovely green color. I'm gonna scoop the content straight into my food processor. Now you need to have some acid to cut through the oiliness of the avocado. So I'm gonna use lemon. You could use lime or vinegar if you want to. If your lemon is a little hard, rub it on the board. And what this will do is it will, it will break up the flesh of the lemon. And as you can see, I've got a lovely juicy lemon. Now I've got clean hands, but you could obviously use a lemon juicer or you can use a fork and squeeze it into it. But I find the easiest thing to do is squeeze the lemon straight into your hand. What that does is it captures all the seeds and you, know, you don't have anything else to wash up. I've got a little bit of water because I want this to be quite a liquefied consistency. So as I'm blending, if I need to add something, I'll add a little bit of water to, to get that consistency. But before I do that, a little bit of pepper. And I don't have a problem with salt, providing it's really good quality sea salt or Pink Murray River salt, because that way we're getting all the nutrients that are actually contained in salt and not the nasty stuff. All right, I'm gonna blend this now. Now, I like this to have a little bit of a crunch in it. So you can blend it to it's really a smooth paste if you want it, but for me, that's perfect. Okay, that is perfect. I can smell the basil, the avocado, the garlic, of course. Love that garlic. Now, be creative. Pesto doesn't just have to be used for pasta. It can be used as a dip, but it's a great way to showcase avocados. Now this is my savory recipe for today. I'm also gonna show you something sweet. Creating that really filling and delicious frappe can mean that often it's really high in sugar. So what I'm gonna show you is a great way to add good fats into it. I'm gonna use avocado, and I'm also gonna add some protein powder. It's gonna be filling, it's gonna lower the glycemic index, and it's still gonna be cool and refreshing. So let's get started. Now, I've got some pineapple, which I've already chopped. Great way to add things like bromelain into your diet, which is really good for you. And then the hero is avocado. So we know that avocado is cream and rich in its texture and taste, but it's also a brilliant way to add good fats into your diet. They're monounsaturated fats, so they're good for helping you lower cholesterol. They taste so delicious as well. And anything that's got that lovely green color in it means it's got a little bit of the iodine and iron in it. So it's a really well-balanced food to add to your diet. Now I've already freshly squeezed my oranges and I've got about a cup and a half of orange juice. Now if you don't like orange juice or maybe you have an allergy, because some people do, you could try apple juice, you could try any type of sort of different juice or anything like water would simply work. So pop that straight into the food processor. Now, I don't have much of a sweet tooth, but I know a majority of the people out there like yourself might. So if you are gonna add a bit of sweetness, just use honey. So just a little bit, I'm just gonna add you know, a teaspoon because this is gonna serve two people. So half a teaspoon per serve is about spot on. And I've got my protein powder. So I've got just a natural protein powder into the food processor and I always like to have that balance of sweet to tart. Um, and so what I'm going to add is some lime juice, really some tropical flavor. So just squeeze a couple of lime quarters, about a tablespoon of lime. You can add more if you want it or less if you want it. And there you have it, really, really simple. Last but not least, wouldn't be a frappe without ice. 
pop your ice into your food processor. Once I've blended this, I'm gonna serve this in some jars. It's different, it's right on trend, and uh, it looks interesting as well. That's blended to the perfect consistency. I love that green color from the avocado. And I know it's gonna have that perfect balance of good fats from the avocado, the protein, all that yumminess and natural sweetness from the pineapple juice. Mm, that's delicious.